everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review the R-rated comedy spoof film, A Haunted House. Before I review A Haunted House, let's bring it over to my guest star, Justin Watches Movies. The spotlight is yours, dude. Hey everybody, it's Justin from Justin Watches Movies with a review for A Haunted House starring Marlon Wayans, which also is written by Marlon Wayans. And it's a spoof about the Paranormal Activity movies. What I really like about this movie is that it focuses on one movie. Um, you know, a scary movie, uh, it focuses on Scream, but also focus, uh, throws in a little other movies here and there. But, you know, Scary Movie 2 and 3 and 4 and 5, they all kind of play around with a bunch of movies. And Haunted House mainly focuses on one movie, and that's what I really like about it. You get a feel for the whole story, and you're not focusing it on all a bunch of these different side plots. And that's what I really like about um, A Haunted House. Two, that it's rated R. I love hardcore R-rated movies, and it is really funny. There's a lot of funny scenes in this movie. Even though it's short, they um, they throw in a lot of humor in this movie. Um, especially from Nick Swardson. So some of the best scenes in this movie are when Nick Swardson is in the movie. Um, Marlon Wayans, he's really funny. If you're a fan of those um, uh, parody movies like Date Movie, epic movie, disaster movie. Some of those ones were a disaster in my opinion, but this one really feels uh, a fresher that it focuses on one movies and they don't use a lot of costumes, you know, with disaster and epic movie. They use like a bunch of costumes from uh, other movie characters, but A Haunted House was, it was fresh. It wasn't like, they didn't put a lot of effort into it with, you know, with costumes and makeup and all that stuff. They just focused on one movie, Paranormal Activity, which I really did enjoy. This movie is, um, doesn't have any jump scares or anything like a horror movie should, but it's it's a funny, scary movie. And um, some of the be mo uh, better parodies I have seen uh, come out in recent years. Um, I know that they're making a sequel coming out soon, but um, I really did enjoy this movie. It was hilarious. I was on in theaters and I laughed a lot. Um, a lot better than the parodies that have come out in recent years, like I said, and definitely better than uh, Scare Movie 5, which was also which also focused on paranormal activity as well, and a few other movies. But for this just to focus on one movie, and it didn't do it well, I was really pleased with The Haunted House and uh, the the comedic roles from um, Cedric the Entertainer, Nick Swardson, um, and everybody else that was in there. So, A Haunted House, I highly recommend this as a, a comedy, scary movie. Um, some of the better better ones in my opinion, uh, not as good as Scary Movie, the first one, but definitely better than Scary Movie 2, 3, 4, or 5. Um, so I really did enjoy this. So, yep, this is my review for A Haunted House. Thank you so much, Justin, for reviewing A Haunted House. Please check out Justin's channel, Justin Watches Movies. One of the nicest dudes I've ever known. Very friendly. He's your go-to guy for Blu-rays, movie reviews, just... Please check him out. I'm going to leave a link to his channel below. So, just like what Justin said, A Haunted House is a spoof of all these scary movies. And, of course, with spoof movies nowadays, I just want to knock myself into a coma. But surprisingly, when I saw promos for A Haunted House, I kind of wanted to see it. What I mean by that is that it looked okay, but I was sort of interested in seeing it. Which is actually saying something, consider every time I see a promo for a spoof movie, like you know, Epic Movie, Meet the Spartans, Scary Movie 5, I just want to knock myself into a coma. But Haunted House surprisingly did make me want to do that. I didn't expect the Haunted House to be a good spoof movie, I just expected it to be an okay, fun spoof movie. Did I get that? Not quite, to be honest. A Haunted House, in my opinion, it is a bad movie. But, it's not as bad as those other shit fest of films like Meet the Spartans, Epic Movie, all those movies that just make you want to go, oh, it's better than those films. Haunted House wasn't like so bad I got so angry watching it. It was just so bad that I was bored watching it like I'm all like oh, okay this is a bad and boring movie that's pretty much what it is to me it just wasn't really as funny as I quite hoped it would be 
Can I understand the people that may f enjoy this film? Oh yes, definitely. With The Haunted House, at least I could find some understanding with it. Here and there, there are laughs, which is a positive for this film, of course. There's not a whole lot of laughs, unfortunately, in my opinion. Whenever there was humor that actually did make me laugh, it was actually hilarious. Like, there was this scene with Marlon Wayans in the bathtub, and <laughs> I w that was one of the funniest moments of this film, in my opinion. There was also this scene with all these gangsters in the house. I, I was cracking up at that scene too. Cedric the Entertainer, he had maybe two or three funny lines here. And of course, there's a couple of more very memorable, hilarious moments in this movie. I saw this film a couple of months ago with my best buddy, Saran Reyes J. He came over to my house after he got off of work. He saw it in theaters. And so when I told him I haven't seen it yet, he brought the movie over, we watched together. He enjoyed a haunted house, and I can understand why. Just me, I just couldn't really enjoy it. I laughed here and there, I had a little bit of fun with it, but it was just a bad movie. I thought Marlon Wayans was enjoyable here. The cast overall was pretty good. Nick Swartzen was so annoying in this film. Every time this guy was on screen, I wanted to punch him in the face fucking face. He was not funny to me at all. I'm not a Nick Swartzen fan at all. He's actually one of the most annoying actors, if not the most annoying actor ever. I just can't stand that guy. The fart jokes here really got repetitive and I just didn't like them. And most of the humor, it was definitely a miss for me. And I was getting so bored just watching this movie. I was giving a big... <sighs> just watching A Haunted House. It's one of the worst films I've seen this year. It kind of let me down because I was hoping for an okay spoof movie. I was kind of excited seeing it, but I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't at least an okay spoof movie. I am hearing there's a sequel though. I'm not going to get mad and say, why? Why is there a sequel? I'm fine with the sequel, even though the first one is bad for me, but... I am going to have hope that the sequel will be okay. I actually do hope the sequel will be better in my opinion. So I'll still kind of look forward to the sequel. Definitely a whole lot better than the shit spoof movies that come out nowadays. I'm going to give A Haunted House 1.5 out of 4 stars. I am 22 Tiger Dude and don't forget that I will always have... Tiger Power!